You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt. And I've got your early weekly spoilers from Monday, April 15th, all the way through Friday, April 19th. I've got a couple of spoilers for each and every day. Next week, really big stuff. Bear in mind, even though Peacock is, you know, Days is streaming on Peacock now, they still do Sweeps stuff. And Sweeps kicks off on April 25th. So next week is going to be all huge build up to things coming out. Things like, you know, baby secrets secrets and other things like that. I'm excited to unpack all of this for you. But if you haven't, please reach down and click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. And as we always do with the early edition spoilers real quick, I'm going to run down the action happening for you the rest of this week, starting with Wednesday, April 10th. That way you'll have some context for the spoilers for next week. We have Everett going to see Marlena. He, you know, is still very confused about this person that he knows he's supposed to be. And so he's looking for more help. Looks like he's going to get more hypnosis treatment. Meanwhile, Kristen has some nasty things to say to Holly. She kind of already chewed her out once and then she and EJ got into it. Looks like Kristen is going to go back for a second helping. And this time Nicole is going to get involved and things are not going to be pretty these women are going to be getting slap happy with each other. Sarah decides she wants to be an active part of Xander investigating to find out who framed him for Harris's shooting. And it's just insane since Harris knows the truth and he's just lying and covering. And Eric talks to Sloan about the fact that they got a note from their landlord saying, where's the rent money? And this is going to carry over into next week. And Jada is grilling Stephanie about her feelings for Bobby Everett. That takes us to Thursday, April 11th, when Holly and Tate go out on a picnic. They're not supposed to be with each other. It looks like, I mean, Nicole has grounded Holly, but she's not adamant that she can't see Tate. She thinks that, you know, Tate's parents don't want her around and she understands that, but they're still going to see each other because they are, it's young love. It's cute. Constantine comes to Maggie with this cock and bull boohoo story about how he's about to get green card eventually out of the country and how much he loves Salem and he likes being around her and he wants to stay and what can be done blah 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 we all know this guy is still gold digging with the world's biggest shovel Stephanie has very weird and upsetting conversation with Eric and she asks him why he doesn't sign the divorce papers for Jada and he kind of snaps at her and it looks like we might be getting a little glimpse of Bobby the real guy inside him on Thursday and Ava is very worried about Clyde's demand that she find Gil the guy she killed his little black book with all their drug leads and Harris comforts and reassures her but of course she's still not telling him the whole truth because he still doesn't know about her help with the prison break and Steve tells Kayla he's very sorry and he has a lot to apologize for the stuff that went on with the pond, the stuff with Clyde. I think this is probably more about Clyde, but we'll see how it goes. Friday, April 12th ends this week as Johnny and Chanel's honeymoon on Smith Island is interrupted. I was thinking it might be Clyde. It's not, at least not yet. If he is coming, he hasn't come yet. It's Julie. I don't know why Julie's out there crashing their honeymoon, but we're going to find out and even more awkward. There's going to be a snowstorm. So Julie's not going anywhere fast, but I, I love seeing Susan Hayes. So that's fine. And Xander and Chad talk about the spectator investigating who shot Harris and looking into the frame job and publishing some articles on it. And Chad, is probably interested in it, of course, with no idea that one of his brothers has done the deed. Constantine turns on the charm to woo Maggie because he wants her to solve this green card problem. Now, I don't know if this is a green card problem he's trumped up or if it's a real green card problem, but we shall find out on Friday. And Paulina is losing it. She can't stand being in isolation after her iodine treatment. And she is getting very snippy with her husband. All right. That takes us to the following week, week of Monday, the 14th, Monday, the 15th through the 19th. And again, this is the week before sweeps, which starts on April 25th, the following Thursday. So this is all build up to sweeps. On Monday, we have Sloan, who really needs money. So this is good. 
getting a job defending Stefan Demera for his criminal charges of drug running and money laundering and all that good stuff. We know Brandon Barish was out for a bit on paternity leave, so I don't know if he's completely back or he's just going to be back on light duty. But, you know, all of this obviously happened six months ago. So the good news is he is back because I love me some Brandon Barish. So I just wonder how much truth that Stefan is going to tell her. Is he going to go and tell her, look, these are the charges I'm facing because this is what I actually did and tell her about Harris and Harris's blackmail and Ava and just, you know, all that good stuff because Sloan can best help him if she has all the information. Also on Monday, EJ is holding a press conference and he is going to face some scrutiny. I just wonder how much longer EJ is going to stay, DA. I mean, he may get fired, but over and above that, he wants to be CEO of Demera. And with Stefan arrested and, you know, Chad doing the spectator stuff, he might quit the DA job so that he can take over the family business. That seems like something he would probably like to do. Tuesday the 16th, Julie is still at the cabin with the honeymooners. There's a big snowstorm going on and Chanel Dupree goes outside and gets lost. That's not good. They have to find her. And Ava is moving out of the Trip and Windy Shin home. And Harris is over there helping her pack. Wonder if they're going to be moving in together because they are head over heels. Wednesday, April 17th, Marlena is ready to help John Black recover his memories of his time on Aria as the pawn to find out if he killed Katarina and what else he might have done. Eric Brady is digging into his financial situation, his and Sloan's financial situation. And I, is he a kept man? I mean, can't he? Why is it all on her? I, I just don't understand that. But I guess we'll find out more next week, Thursday, the 18th. Maggie is considering doing something drastic. And that drastic thing is marrying Constantine so that he doesn't have to leave the country. And of course, he is up to absolutely no good, but he's convinced her she's falling for this hook, line, and sinker. That same day, Kristen spends some time with little brother Stefan Demera, and they are conspiring on how to keep EJ from taking over as CEO of the family business. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Friday, April 19th, we've got Rafe pressuring Everett to sign the divorce papers. Remember, he said he didn't want to sign him before because that's not the person he is and he doesn't even know who that person is. But I feel like perhaps by the 19th, Bobby might actually be woken back up out of the subconscious. So we'll see how that conversation goes. And Marlena and John get to spend some time babysitting Jude. Those are all of our early weekly spoilers. Be sure and come back very soon for our full weekly spoilers, two-week spoilers, predictions, all that good stuff. Drop your comments. Please subscribe. And remember, we are here talking days of our lives, seven days a week. And as always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 